Hey everybody, it's Rhino. I don't know that. And who are these two? Katrina. Tyler. And you guys um, were the lucky, or I should say the unfortunate folks, yeah, who right. won the... Yeah, I was uh, you guys. Yeah, you, you uh, bid on us for uh, prostitute, for uh, dinner. <laughs> you make us sound so cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they unfortunately won the evening with Oliver and Rhino, and we've just all decided to go to the boathouse, because I don't think... You guys haven't been, right? No, never. And I've only ever been for... We did a Dreams Unlimited travel but, uh, event here, but it was a prefix menu. Yeah. And I went for lunch once, and you've never been, right? Just the prefix Just the prefix menu. Lauren Beckish, so, party of three. Lauren Beckish, party so of three. So, that, that's not yeah, us. Your table's but, ready. Yeah, we're going to go in here. It's a beautiful night here at Disney yeah, Springs. It, it doesn't seem overly crowded. It doesn't um, feel like Florida right now. It doesn't, no. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's like California it's, right it's now. It's energizing. Yeah. So, we're going to go spend a wonderful evening in here and see what happens. So we got sat outside on this wonderful evening here. We got to watch the sunset over Cirque du Soleil. Oliver's here still too. Hello. Yeah. Um, I, what do you guys think? I think we're off to a good start. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. This is nice so far. Yeah. Gluten-free bread for Katrina. Yeah. Delicious. The drink is pretty good. I got a margarita. That's a big margarita. It is a big margarita. It comes in a souvenir, a souvenir glass yeah. if you want to keep it. I know, right? um, That's good. Oliver, what'd you get? Tea, I, and they I got give a sweet you... tea. Well, I actually got, they don't do sweet tea. They just do like regular iced tea. And then she's like, oh, bring out the packet of sweeteners. And it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. They all do that. She didn't though. She brought out this tiny little mug of like syrup and it tastes so much better. So yeah, that's how, that's my now sweet tea, so. Yeah. And then you got something got delivered to you right there. As if on cue, she <laughs> received her little grigio. I got a blue moon. You know, I thought it was a wonderful, nice, I don't know. With the orange. Blue moon. Yeah, with the orange. It's a nice night for a blue moon. Because, yeah. And we, we got to thinking about the orange and the stocking tradition at Christmas, which no one had heard of but me. And I don't know where I, I think I heard that on The Middle, to be honest with you. The TV show, The Middle. Yeah. Familiar. Yeah. Um, so we ordered some appetizers, appetizers, and um, our meals, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll tell you. Stay tuned. What did we um, get, Oliver? We got, the, we, we got the calamari, and we got the, was it the firecracker shrimp? Firecracker shrimp, yeah. Firecracker shrimp, and they were both as good as each other. Both had way more of a kick to them, excuse me, I'm spitting, um, than I expected. Like, Very I, spicy. Well, really were. Like, I'd probably verge on preferring the firecracker shrimp just a little bit more. Um, yeah, it, but saying that, they were both good. Calamari, just for me, and it's this it's this way everywhere I go, it's just slightly on the chewy side. It's not that it's bad, it's just naturally the way it is. So, yeah, firecracker shrimp for me. What do you think, Tyler? Uh, I always love a good calamari, especially when there's... Th this one had, like, fried jalapenos in it and uh, other, like, what was it, hoisin sauce or something, so it ended up being... Really good. Uh, I, I approve for sure. But um, I think the shrimp did win out a little bit. The, the firecracker shrimp was really good. It was like tiny little shrimp that was like covered in some kind of sauce, but it was super good. So, Katrina, what did you get? I got gluten free lobster bisque. Well, their lobster bisque is gluten free, so it was delicious. And I put my gluten free bread pieces in there to eat it. So it was it was phenomenal. It was good. It was did like a little like spicy. The bread too? It was really good. I just pretty much ate like two buns by itself, and then uh, but the lobster bisque was actually kind of spicy. So like I think a lot of their theme is like spicy. I um I don't know which I liked better. I was surprised at how spicy the calamari was because it had jalapeno stuff in it. The the what was the shrimp? Call firecracker. It? firecracker shrimp. It was. It was. It came out creamy. I thought it was gonna be like little, just a couple of shrimp on a plate, and you like grab them because I think at um what's that place at the boardwalk? The flying fish. Yeah. I think they have a firecracker shrimp, but it's like individually yeah, shrimp. But bigger shrimp. yeah, it was really good. I like calamari. I didn't even need the sauce with the calamari. I do understand what Oliver's talking about about it being chewy, though. Like it is always that slight chew to it sometimes. This had less chew um, than a lot of calamari. I it did, like. yeah. It yeah, did. yeah. See, so that's how you know it's good too. Yeah, I think yeah. like good calamari is less chewy, but it's just a personal thing for me. That's why I like calamari right. just naturally chewy. So, I but no, I don't know. Know. It's still good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we also should have known that. That the firecracker shrimp was spicy because it was called firecracker. So. <laughs> yeah, context clue sentences are beyond <laughs> us at this point. So we're getting our entrees and we are gonna get started on the food. Oliver, what did you get? You got a salad. I did get a salad. I'm trying to remember the actual buffalo name. chicken. Buffalo salad. blue cheese. It was the buffalo blue cheese. It's written right in front of oh, you, so I believe. It is. <laughs> this guy. It was got... the buffalo chicken salad, but it had blue cheese on it. 
Um, it was your, good. Your, the buffalo chicken on your salad was interesting though because it, it was like little, like it was like yeah. nuggets. So, like, they would have little nuggets. Yeah. 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 And it, yeah. I would say I would even make the argument that there wasn't enough chicken on the salad. So yeah. it looked a little spare, like five, yes. five or six pieces. It, it, if I ordered that, I'd be a little disappointed. But. I wasn't saying I wasn't too disappointed. If you're not that hungry, though. was that? Yeah. And, yeah, and I wasn't, which yeah. is a rarity for me. So let's enjoy it. But. Um, yeah, it was it, it was lacking in chicken. It was also lacking in blue cheese. I'm a huge fan of like anything that just stinks like blue cheese. Um, yeah, and there wasn't much of that in there too. It did have some nice like um, I forgot the name of the nuts. Pecans? Yeah, there we go. It's whenever the camera comes out, I forget. Had some nice pecans on there, which did complement it, and it brought all the flavors together. So I was very happy with it. I enjoyed it immensely. Didn't finish it though, but that's more to do with me than the actual dish itself. So I think it was like, um, it was like I could tell you how much like it was. It is. It was twelve bucks. So yeah. very reasonable actually. It was a little. I will say when it came out, it looked like a little smaller than I expected. But at the same time, you're like, eh, twelve bucks. I it guess did, it was twelve it bucks. It did have some depth to it though. So like, it, it, was, it was like a it was good there, Christopher so. Nolan film. It, lots of depth. Oh, Rhino. <laughs> anyway, I got the Yacht Club Club, and it is um, some turkey, uh, avocado, tomato, and some other jazz on a, oh, there was a chipotle mayo on a multigrain bun, and it came with fries, and um, it was massive, massive. I actually only ate one slice, and then I ended up having to get it boxed up, but it was really, really good, and I want to say it was like 17 dollars or so I don't know I, I just ordered it because it got me in the Chipotle mayo I didn't care how much it was it was just like mm. you heard Chipotle mayo yeah you were all about that. Chipotle mayo will Chipotle anything will kind of get me on board with with stuff but very enjoyable I would I think I'd recommend it it's definitely like probably more of a lunchy option than dinner but I don't like I said they got me with Chipotle <laughs> look at how look at how starry and yeah, nice here do you see that that That's, is like we are Falling in what love did in, in Hollywood. Did get some, I think some it's the glass that's over the phone or something. <laughs> Oliver was playing with it. His hands are probably not clean. Um, so, Tyler, what did you get? I got the fillet, and it was Oscar style. So that means it comes with a like for anybody that doesn't know, it comes with a crab cake on top, basically. And then it also had a Bernays sauce and a little bit of asparagus. So it, I thought it was really good, actually. Um, I would definitely order that again. It was definitely a little expensive for the eight ounce. I got it was fifty four dollars. So was it really? I it thought was, it was cheaper than that. No, it, it was fifty four dollars. So it was a little expensive, but it also came with like some roasted potatoes on the side. But it was really good. I would suggest it. But you got it, it did come. It was since it was like steak and crab cake. It was both things they're very known for, like the steak exactly. and the seafood. So it was like so. the surf, It was like the perfect surf and turf that you could just you know that you come to expect from a, probably a place like Boathouse. So. And Katrina, you went with the gluten-free, a gluten-free option, and what was that? And I got fish tacos, and it was delicious. It was like spicy because it was like jerked chicken, or not chicken. It was a like jerked. <laughs> those, those, uh, it tastes those like chicken. It was fish, fish chicken tacos. It was, uh, it was like jerked, uh, like swordfish is what the fish of the day was, and then it had like a habanero uh, aioli, so it was like spicy. It was good, and then, like avocado was on it, sliced avocado and uh, cabbage. Like it, it came with three, right? Yeah, three tacos. Yeah. It looks so like good. It looks sixteen dollars or something. Yeah, I was I was surprised. Was, uh, they look really decent. good. You got a big, nice nice cut of the swordfish in there. It was like a nice yeah, was chunk like, of swordfish. Some had like so. two nice big pieces, and then like one had like one little piece, but yeah. it was really good. It was really Okay, Sorry, go ahead. It was really cool as well, just putting in my uh, two cents that I, I know Disney does it, does this in all of their restaurants. Um, whenever there's any sort of allergy, they'll get the chef out here to talk to you. But the chef actually brought it out and uh, served the dish as well, which I thought was a nice touch. So I know they do that, but it's the first time I've actually seen it. Because, you know, I don't normally... They were really good at one, so yeah, it was yeah. really nice. My little allergy. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice. I felt like it gave you that little push of confidence where you're yeah. like, okay, I feel a little better. The show is. There's the evidence. Oh, there's the no, evidence. So, <laughs> so I think all around we enjoyed it. We're gonna digest for a few minutes here and give it our thoughts, and then maybe dessert, maybe not. We'll see, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we are leaving now. We opted to. Uh, we're a little full, so our dessert is actually gonna be another drink somewhere else. Yay. Yeah. Best dessert. Uh, 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 well, overall, what were your opinions? Oliver, let's start with you. Good. I, I really enjoy hot and spicy food, and this place had a lot of that. Like, stuff you wouldn't expect to be spicy was very spicy. Um, so that's why I enjoyed it. I thought the quality was good. Price was actually quite reasonable, really, for what it is, because, it, you know, it's definitely up there. What was, the total, what was the total for all four of us? It's before, so if you don't use annual pass holder discount, it came to 200 and something dollars. So it's around 200. So, 
Okay. Yeah, it's very good considering we were getting, you know, there was yeah. a few alcoholic two beverages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two, two apps, a couple drinks. Yeah. 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 So, um, uh, all right, Katrina, Tyler, what did you guys think? Um, it was good. I mean, like the service was phenomenal. Like for the chef to come out for gluten free and to tell me what was gluten free, what was not. But it was good. I like the spicy. It was good. Yeah, I thought it was really good actually. This is the first time I've ever eaten at Boathouse, and I would definitely come back again. The, yeah. the I wasn't steak was expecting like, it to be spicy. It like. Like, I, like Boathouse, I don't expect to have yeah, spicy food. But it seemed like a lot of things were spicy. <laughs> it was but really good. Again, we should have figured that out from the firecracker shrimp. <laughs> but, you know. I will tell you, I um, am definitely going to come back at night because I want to go try out that dockside bar that I was staring at. Yeah, like, yeah. Especially in the cooler. It, now it's getting cooler this time of year. It's actually cool right now. It's nice. Oh, yeah. 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 We were, it was, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the evening. It was the company. The food was good. I think the service was great. Yeah. Um, Our server was fantastic. She was really great. Yeah. She was very knowledgeable, yeah. very helpful, um, very accommodating. I mean, not, I, I don't want to say even say accommodating because she kind of like, immediately came in with everything so it was yeah. it wasn't like we had issues really or anything like that so I shouldn't say it like that but she was very very thorough very good anybody with allergies the like like Oliver said before the chef comes to the table so yeah. they make you feel very comfortable right? yeah. yeah for something that you want to yeah so no I like that a lot and as you can hear the nighttime uh, entertainment has kicked in so we're gonna get out of this little bit of a loud area now and go have ourselves a margarita or yeah, something. Yeah, so, margarita. Uh, so uh, if you've been here or you plan on going, let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear about your experience or what you guys thought of this uh, video or any of that jazz. So um, we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.